Today we are going to make a different kind of the fleece scarf like um, I showed you one earlier in the week. Uh, and that one had snaps on it. This one is going to be a little bit different and I'm going to show you how I cut my material out. This is two pieces of fleece. One is a printed fleece and the other is a solid color. Now I've got the these these are cut nine inches wide and thirty two inches long. So I'm going to show you the difference in the nap. There is a right and a wrong side to fleece. See this blue right here? You can see the nap how it's raised up on the back side. It's smooth, and the same with this print. There's a little bit of a nap on that side, and the the back side is kind of smooth and shiny. So I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew across the end and down both sides leaving one end open for turning. Now today I'm going to use my serger. I know most of you won't have a serger so you can just do this with a stretch stitch. Remember you have to do a little bit of a zigzag or a stretch stitch because if you do a straight stitch on something that's um, stretchy then when it stretches, it'll pop your stitches out. But I'm going to um, just sew down the long side across the end and back up the other long side. And notice how I've pinned this in the middle to keep it from shifting while I'm sewing because I don't want it to stretch and get out of shape. I've sewn my scarf down both long sides and across one end, leaving the other end open so that I can turn it. And this is what a serger does. A serger stitches, overcasts the seam, finishes the seam, and cuts the excess off all in one step. So it's perfect for a project like this. Now I've removed the pins that I had down the center to keep it from stretching. And now I'm going to turn it right side out. So just reach up in there, turn it right side out, and stick your hand back up in there and make sure those corners are pushed all the way out, like that. And now it's time to iron those seams down. You don't have to do that but I think it makes a prettier finished project and it seems to keep it from stretching too much. So I'm gonna use my steam iron and I'm, now remember this is fleece on both sides, so I don't wanna hover on that fleece too long because it'll make shiny places on it if it gets too hot. So I'm just gonna take my steam iron and iron down all of the seams. Alright, so this scarf is going to um, go around your neck and stay fastened in a different way than the other one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half to see where the center is. And I'm going to mark the center right there with some chalk. Two and a half inches down is where I want to start. So it'll start right there. And I'm going to make a three inch long mark with my chalk. Now I'm going to pin that like we did in the center before to keep it from stretching and I'm going to show you why that's important in just a minute. Let's go to this All right, So I'm going to set my machine on a zigzag stitch. The width is going to be 1.0 and the stitch length is going to be 2.5 so i'm going to lift my presser foot up and i'm going to put my needle to the left about an eighth of an inch to the left of that chalk mark and then i'm going to sew straight down beside the chalk mark 
when I get to the end of it, I'm gonna pivot my needle and sew to about an eighth of an inch on the other side of the chalk mark. Pivot the needle and go back up the other side. And then I'm gonna go back across the end. Now, it's probably a good idea right here to back stitch there so that it doesn't come out. And raise your presser foot and clip your threads. And I'm gonna show you what that did. What we did was make a rectangle on both sides of that chalk mark. And the reason for that is we're gonna take our scissors or our seam ripper and we're gonna slit that down the middle. And this zigzag stitch is gonna keep it from raveling out. All right, so this is my seam ripper. You could do this with scissors if you wanted to or a craft knife, but just be Go slow and be really cautious that you don't cut into those stitches and go right up the center just like that. There we go. So now we've got this slit cut in both sides of our fabric. Now you can take scissors and go back and trim those little edges right there if there's um, fuzz in it. You can also go back to the machine and zigzag all the way to the edge around here so that it completely encases that seam right there and finishes the seam. But we're gonna see how this works first. Okay, here is our finished scarf. Now remember we started with two pieces of fleece that were nine inches wide and 32 inches long. You can make it longer if you want to. Um, if you're wearing it with a, a sweater, it might be it might look better if you have a longer scarf. But this is where we put the slit in it. Remember, we just sewed a rectangle and then cut it through the middle. Now, this is the way it goes on. You just put it around your neck, and the part, the end that doesn't have the opening, slips through the side that does have the opening. And you can adjust it any way you want. But right there... I think is gorgeous. Now you can loosen it up here, make it more like a cow. I think that is absolutely beautiful and how simple. Um, I wanted to mention to you also that most of these fleeces that I have, I bought at a local uh, fabric shop named Roby's Fabrics in Conley Springs. If you haven't been up there, if you're a beginner sewer or a seasoned um, seamstress, uh, if you haven't visited their shop, please go up there. They're, this is a wonderful Christian family. I've known this family my whole life. They have great prices and great selection. They're open every day during the week except for Wednesday, and then they're open for a while on Saturday. So please let me know if you try these scarves. I do have a couple more designs that I'm going to um, show you. But if you make these, send me a picture and let me let me know that you're using these videos and I would love to see the finished product. So you guys have a great day and um, I plan to do the same. I love you all. Thank you for watching.